Your composition's not going to matter if, if the story is not well paced. So I originally wanted to make a video about um, thumbnails, uh, which I started. And then I realized that within my process, it's kind of a two-step jammer where I kind of set up my um, frames or panels uh, for the entire story first uh, before I even get cracking on any art. And the reason for that is pacing. Pacing is very important when it comes to comics uh, because it's a visual medium and the um, size and shape of your panels really do influence the uh, pace that the story is read at. So even before I start sketching, or even before I get into composition, um, the first thing that I apparently do, I kind of realized it today, set up the pacing for the panels. Um, and I do that um, when, I'm, when, I, when I'm basically reviewing the script for the first time. I'm drawing a little rectangle, uh, as you'll see, and then I kind of divvy up the page as to what it needs to do and how I want to tell the story. So I'm not trying to get into these like crazy diagonals and like wild insert shots. I keep it pretty bare bones. Um, your composition's not going to matter if, if the story is not well paced. Uh, my take on pacing is actually quite simple. The way I see it, the wider a panel is, the longer it takes for you to get across it. So every panel below is kind of a subdivision. As you see, the pen travels across it faster, as will be the beats of your story if you use shorter panels. If you're musically inclined, you can kind of think of these as a whole note, a half note, a quarter note, and I think it's a sixteenth or an eighth note, the one with the squiggly line. But it's basically shorter beats is how you want to look at this. I usually start by reviewing the story and then drawing these little rectangles, um, each one representing just the pace of the story. Um, Wide shots usually reserved for establishing shots or for dramatic effect because they slow down the tempo of the story and usually conversation pieces are determined by the kind of the tension of the conversation. If it's a low tension conversation, I like to use this six grid that you see me drawing right now. It's very balanced and well paced and when something is an action sequence or more frenetic, I try to kind of divvy it up more to cause kind of more chaos, if you will. Once I have these panels divvied up, I like to review the script one more time um, and kind of follow along with the panels and just see how it feels and make adjustments accordingly. That's pretty much how I pace my books. Story, which is cool because it it, it does uh, have a bit of pacing stuff, but I will be I, I will be explaining. Uh, I lost my train of thought.